Hello everyone, I'm Jessie Shar. I'm one of the physician assistants here at Azura. And today I'm going to talk to you about a question that we get asked a lot, and that is how many units do I need? Um, and also I'm gonna go over what areas we can treat with neuromodulator. That meaning Botox, Dysport, Jabot, Xeomin, any one of those. The Dysport units are a little bit different but Botox, Jabot, Xeomin are all pretty comparable. So that way you kind of get a sense. And I'm going to preface this by saying it's really important to talk about how many units you need with your provider and your injector because everyone's face and needs and aesthetic goals are a little different. So it's really important to discuss this. I'm only gonna give a range, these are estimates. Um, and as far as what is a unit, it really is just a unit of measurement. It does not mean that we're going to poke you that many times. So if you're getting 50 units in the upper face, no, that does not mean we're going to poke you 50 times. If you're good, just kidding. No, we won't poke you 50 times, but these are estimates. So most common areas to treat would be what's called the glabella or the frown lines. Typically there's five injection sites right up here in these general areas. And most people typically require around 20 units. That's what's been FDA approved for that region. That being said, some people can get by with less like 12 to 15. And some people, particularly men who have really strong muscles or women who have just a lot of really strong intense muscles in that region can do anywhere up to 30 units in that region. Another really common area to treat is the forehead, those lines that kind of run across our forehead. And everyone in the forehead is different. Some people have really small foreheads, some people have really large ones. FDA approved recently for the forehead was about 20 units, which in my opinion is a lot and can make you really heavy. And I've never done 20 units in a forehead before. I think typically most people need eight to 12 units with 10 being more standard in my practice and even up to like 16 maybe, um, but that's pretty typical. Another really popular area to treat that's actually my personal favorite area to have done on myself is the crow's feet. It's this little um, orbicularis muscle around the eye that creates these little radial lines that age us and are really hard to get rid of if we wait too long to treat them. This, this area usually needs eight to 12 units per side. Um, sometimes you can do a little bit more if you want to kind of go into the brow and do what's called a little bit of a brow lift. There's a muscle that pulls and tugs down at the tail of the brow. And sometimes you can put a unit or two in each of these places to kind of help lift the brow up very minimally. It's a subtle lift, but it kind of relaxes that, that muscle that normally tugs down. Another area to treat would be the bunny lines. These guys, it's also your nasalis muscle. Typically you can do four to six units in that region, just to kind of help soften up that intense tugging right in that area. Another area we can treat is something called gummy smile. So when people smile, sometimes they show their upper gums, some more than others. And you can kind of just put two to four units. Two is kind of where I start for most people. So two units kind of right in this region and it calms down that intense tugging that people do when they smile and that kind of makes their lip curl under and show a lot of their upper gums. Actually, I have a photo of myself posted on the Azura website, and I have naturally just kind of this one side that snarls up a little bit when I smile. And that photo is before I did my Botox in that area. So you can see it and refer back to it. But I actually just put two units on one side so that when I smile, it's kind of straight across and I'm not tugging up on one side. Another area to treat is the chin. It's called your mentalis muscle. You can see it creates that little orange peel type skin and people normally need four to six units in that region another area that i'm famous for i'm very expressive is called your daos your depressor anguli oris muscle and that's these guys there's a famous photo of me on instagram that you probably won't know is me and typically in these guys you can do two to four units per side, I'm pretty strong. So I need a lot, as you can see, I'm very expressive. And it just kind of helps it from tugging down so that I don't pull the corners of my mouth so much. Another area would be our masseters. People don't realize when they have really painful TMJ symptoms, 
or even people who have really square angular jaw, which is very common in the Asian population. People like to treat this region to kind of give them a more slim jawline. Typically you need 20 units per side, per masseter, but I normally like to start with 10 to 15 units per side and then kind of see how they do, especially if they don't, they're not going for facial shaping as much, but more so to kind of help with those symptoms of a, a tight jaw. Where else? The platysma. So this is a muscle in our neck that if you actually say the muscle platysma, it creates these little neck bands. And you can actually, there's ones, there's lateral ones and there's interior neck bands. In the neck, you can actually use a lot. You can do anywhere from 40 to 50 units in the neck, but each band can take about 10 to 15 units. So that's another area that we treat. Another area that you can treat um, is for hyperhidrosis in the underarms. That is people who, or people who have excessive sweating in their underarms, and they leave big wet patches on their skin. You can do up to 50 units per side. So that would be 100 units total, which is actually a full vial, usually, of Botox or Javo. And you can also do Botox in the palms, too, if you have hyperhidrosis in the palms as well. So that's pretty much all your areas and general guidelines of about how many units you would need. If you have any other questions, let us know.